firstly, just hold that shirt up just for the cameras. <coughs> if you turn it around, you could turn it around as well. Okay, guys, you want to stand up if you stay standing, Louis. Stay with the shirt and then you're going to get some Okay. Hello. Down here, please. Yeah. Do it, yeah. Hello, yeah. please. Yeah. Good. Just do one more. Just do it, please. Okay, guys. Okay, if you take a seat. Okay, as explained, we'll be starting with broadcast, English-speaking broadcast first. Just a reminder for the questions, the week will by and large be able to understand them, just ask them nice and slowly to give them a chance. And then after that, we'll have French-speaking questions as well. Patrick, our translator, will translate uh, on both occasions, and then we will do the written press afterwards all together. So, um, Darry, if you want to kick us off for Skype, please. Yep. Uh, Gary from... Sky Sports. Welcome to the Premier League. Thank you. Welcome to Beach Park Rangers. We're going to be saying your name a lot over the next few months and hopefully years. How do you say your name? Tell us exactly how you say it. Uh, I can't speak English. How does it pronounce your name? My name? Uh, Rémy. Loïc? Loïc. Yeah, Loïc. Loïc Rémy. Why Beach Park Rangers? Parce que bah, Queen's Park c'était un club euh, euh, dont je connaissais déjà l'entraîneur. Euh, il me suivait depuis un, un petit moment maintenant. Euh, parce que, parce que j'avais aussi envie de découvrir euh, la première ligue. C'était un championnat euh, dont, dont j'ai toujours rêvé de jouer. J'ai jamais eu la, la possibilité de, 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 de pouvoir venir en Angleterre. Euh, et voilà, euh, Queen's Park m'a ouvert les bras euh, et j'ai dit oui tout de suite. Why did you choose QPR? Uh, because I already knew the coach and they've followed me for some time now and I wanted to play in the Premier League. Uh, it's a dream of mine, I've always wanted to play in the Premier League and I'd never had the chance to come to England. But QPR were very open, they wanted me, so it's great to be here. Why not Newcastle? Because it's true that I hesitated between two clubs. I met les dirigeants de Newcastle aussi et euh, à un moment donné il a fallu faire un choix et mon choix euh, s'est porté sur, sur deux décisions déjà euh, le fait que bah, je connaissais déjà l'entraîneur ça a joué aussi dans mon, dans mon choix euh, final et, et deuxième choix euh, c'est vrai que QPR c'est un club qui a des ambitions euh, sur l'avenir sur le futur et pour moi le, le projet de de, de, de footballistique, sportif était très intéressant pour moi. C'est vrai que c'est un gros challenge à relever pour moi parce que euh, ils ont une situation, euh, le club est dans une situation difficile. Mais, euh, mais je pense qu'avec l'équipe et, et, et depuis que l'entraîneur euh, l'entraîneur Harry Redknapp est arrivé, euh, ça a beaucoup changé. Et je pense qu'on a matière à, à, à faire de, de très bonnes choses dans cette deuxième partie de saison et surtout à se maintenir en, en première ligue. It's true that I hesitated between Newcastle and QPR. I went to meet the staff at Newcastle United and there came a time when I had to make a decision. Um, and I made my decision based on two factors. Firstly, I already knew the coach, Harry Redknapp. And secondly, I'm really excited by the uh, project that QPR have here over the future. It's true it's a big challenge and the team is currently in a tough situation, but since Harry Redknapp has been here, I think change, things have changed a great deal. So it's now up to us in the second half of the season to really work hard and stay up. You say you, you know Harry Redknapp.